According to some reports, over two million cats and dogs are killed each year in China for their furs, often in an extremely cruel manner. EPPED Vice Chairman Struan Stevenson has long campaigned against the trade in these furs and the practice will be banned throughout the European Union from the 1st of January next year. Mr Stevenson, could you tell us a bit more about the cruelty involved in this trade? Well, you know, I've been to China many times and I've seen some of the horrific examples of this. Uh, they will, for instance, take a, a dog and often these are pets that they've simply picked up off the street, stray animals. I saw once an Alsatian, uh, the butcher tied it to a, a, a fence with an iron, uh, an iron fence with a wire around its neck, then lifted its back leg because they don't want to damage the fur, and sliced its artery and held its leg up while the dog screamed as it bled to death. Then he hooked it up over the top of the, the gate and started skinning it. And you could see the dog was still blinking. It was still alive as he skinned it. This is commonplace. It's a horribly cruel trade. And it involves, as, as you said in your introduction, about two million cats and dogs a year to supply the market in Europe. So, you know, we bought a lot of uh, samples. We've had them all DNA tested, for instance, this uh, rug bought in Copenhagen, made from four golden retriever skins, came from China. I have a full-length fur coat made from 42 Alsatian puppies, which was bought, bought in Berlin, but it also came from China. You get uh, things like uh, individual cat skins. This was bought in the Ramblas in Barcelona, but it's also from China. And people in the trade buy these to make the trim of parka hoods or to make glove linings or ski boot linings. And how does the cat and dog fur actually get onto the European market, onto the shop shelves in the European Union? Yeah, because there is a demand for cheap fur. Actually, fur uh, generally is becoming more fashionable and more people are buying it, sadly, because I, I don't approve of the, the fur trade as a whole, but cats and dogs, unfortunately, are a cheap source of fur, particularly from China. They even sometimes dye this fur to look like faux fur. They dye it purple or pink, so you think it's acrylic, but it's really a real cat or dog has been killed to make what you think is fake fur. It's cheaper to kill a cat or a dog in China than to make uh, acrylic fur. And what effect will the EU legislation from January have on consumers as well as for the cats and dogs themselves? Well, what it means is across all 27 member states, it will be illegal any longer to sell things like the, these cute little toys which mums and dads who love cats and dogs they think this is really cute, we'll buy this for our children, not realising that a real cat has been killed to make uh, something like this. Anyone that is caught trying to trade in these will be breaking the law. Anyone who tries to import containers filled with these from China will lose their licence and they will have their whole consignment uh, confiscated. So this is going to be a tough law and the external borders of the EU will be sealed to stop this trade continuing. Mr Stevenson, thank you very much. Thank you. For more information on this issue, log on to our website, epp-ed.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.